and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Just to name a few. Here's the Cobra. What a tremendous game he played against Philadelphia. For three, it's hauled in by the Raptors. Pass to DeRozan. Banked it in off the glass. Boy, official shot. Defended by DeRozan. And there's Raptors the foul. Ball. It'll go on DeMar DeRozan. That's his first foul. Here's the Cobra. Here he goes. Six to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. And so him and he keeps making them. Four, three. A tumble with a rebound. Here's Ellis. His last outing, he had 24 points. To the inside. He's off on that one. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Coming off that win against the Sixers. It was an all-out effort on defense. We talk about multiple efforts on the defensive end. And I thought, boy, that was good old-fashioned focus, team effort. What a win. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Bosch puts the move on. That shot is off. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very definition of transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Pass to Ellis. Now DeRozan. He shoots a three. Hits a three-pointer. DeRozan's got seven. Well, he's such a smart offensive player. DeMar DeRozan knows the best option there is the quick release on the catch and shoot. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Just great activity. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Ellis. Here's Nash. Here's Bosch. So good on both. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Brooklyn's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. First quarter of play, and we're about to. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Good night. Cocked it back and fired it home. <laughs> Getting up and then throwing. that slashing drive to the hoop courtesy of mobile one and he's been incredible this game and plays like that one show you how locked in he is here's ellis here's nash and again toronto no good and he was fouled by the So he can't get either to fall. For Toronto, they've gone two for five here in the first. There's the triple. No luck on that one. And Brooklyn going the other way now. This game against Toronto here, it's their first look at the Raptors. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. So what you look for in the first game, one, does the team make a statement? And two, how does the other team react to that? Here's Nash. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. And counted the shot. Here's Nash. Nine points in his last outing. Pass to Ellis. Here's Bosch. Shot clock at six. And again, no good by Toronto. The outside leaner. And the bucket is good. 
and just shred up the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Van Horn misses. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's the Cobra. A tumble with a rebound. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Yep. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Here's the Cobra. Over to the left wing. To the right side. Pass to Garnett. They get the rebound. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Toronto's gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Here's Ellis. Goes up from the top of the key. And there's the slam. It off. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Now here's Jordan. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Nash. It's tipped. And they get it back. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Here's the Cobra. Puts it up. Trained it for two points. And by four. And for the Raptors, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-First Team. Just a big honor. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. From downtown, fires in the triple. The Raptors shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. DeRozan outside. Pass to Nash. Turner with it. Here's Ellis. From outside, off the mark. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And for the Raptors, here's the Cobra. Pulls it in from the elbow, and he gets the bucket. And just totally... Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. DeRozan outside. Can't get it to drop. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Down low. Here's the Cobra. No one near him. Garnett no good. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. From seven. Ed. Play defense. Give it your all. Contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half play. Pass to Garnett. Six on the shot clock. Here's Jordan. And slam. It's all about the offensive boards. I mean, there's just a statement about toughness. Trying to demoralize your opponent by outworking them, out hustling them. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. And again, no good by Toronto. To the left wing. The three is up. It's hauled in by the Raptors. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. <laughs> That's a game they like to win. And Toronto calls time here. And as the coaches drop... And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. DeRozan outside. Pass to Bosch. Here's Ellis. Here's Nash. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. And the shot goes in. 
execution. They're getting some short range looks here. Brooklyn's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Allie. Thank you. Here's the Cobra. Pass to Jordan. Here's the Cobra. Shoots it from the high post. No good. A bit long that time. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And it's DeRozan missing for Brooklyn. They've got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Here's the Cobra. Nine points in the game. Now here's DeRozan. Pass to Ellis. Here's Nash. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Pass to Ellis. the 2008 Defensive Player of the Year. KG's been frustrating shooters for a long, long time. And yep, it's good. He has six. Get stops if you can't keep them off the boards. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Ellis. Ellis. And the tip in on the offensive boards. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. From 17, offensive rebound, goes back up, and Jordan lays it up and in. Brooklyn's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Here's the Cobra. He's got 9 to the left side wing. Fires the 3, up again. Great positioning on the putback. And Brooklyn leads by 14. They've been so active on the offensive glass. Those second chance points have... DeRozan outside. Beyond the arc. Ellis' shot is off. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. They're showing a tremendous amount of fire tracking down misses. Here's Ellis. He's got five. And that's his third bucket. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Elbow shot on the way. No good off the back of the rim. And for the Raptors, they're shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. From the arc. Nails it from the arc. He's got 10. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Well, Brooklyn's shooting at 49% so far in the game. Here's the Cobra. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Toronto has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Here's Anderson. And there's a whistle. He'll head long. The Raptors making a switch here. He makes one of two that time. Well, Brooklyn's shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Offensive board. <laughs> There's a reason this is the four-time NBA rebounding champion, KG Offensive Glass. Vassell outside. Pass to Van Horn. Let's the three fly. And he recovers it. Back to Vassell. Tries again. They grab their own miss. 
Now that takes a skip. The deficit to single digits right here. Pass to Anderson. Here's Van Horn. Nine points in the game. Clock at six. Now Vassell. Shoots. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Here's the Cobra. Here's Garnett. And he lays it up and in. Three-pointer. Second chance effort. Pass to Van Horn. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Garnett. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Here's the Cobra. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Garnett. Book it again. Seth. 143 left to play in the half. Pass to Bosch. Here's Van Horn. Outside, Anderson. And again, Toronto, no good. And Brooklyn shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Off target from three-point range. Toronto shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Deflected! KG has always had tremendous instincts. Sends another one back the way it came. Inside. And as it goes out of bounds, Brooklyn able to keep possession. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. Yeah, the answer. And don't. All right, thanks. Tibbs, what would you think about the way this team defended in the first half? We're not bad, but we have to sustain it for the entire game. They put a lot of pressure on you. we got to make sure we're containing their dribble penetration, and then we got to react to our challenge shots. The expectations are high for the second half. Thanks, Coach. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For Brooklyn, Kenny, what was your impression? They're getting into the lane whenever they want. Getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, they need to change their strategy. We can see that. Jacking up three-pointers left and right, many of them contested but from deep range. Just isn't the way to play basketball, fellas. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Here's Nash. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. And the basket... And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Pass to Ellis. Here's Nash. Here's Ellis. He's got 10. Just five to shoot. And Bosch gets it to go. Yeah. When you make your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. Out left to the wing. Pulls up at the elbow. Oh, and there's the whistle. At the line for two. And he makes both free throws. The Raptors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. DeRozan outside. Pass to Ellis. Here's Nash. Here's Ellis. Six to shoot. The Raptors need to get off a shot. It's good. Got six. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And a chance to add to the lead here. Yeah, B.A., they should really stick with what they've been doing. Here's the Cobra. Kept alive. And slam dunk. I Times have we seen DeAndre Jordan take it off the window and convert? Boy, he is so good. Pass to Nash. Here's Matumbo. And he comes here. Defended by DeRozan. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. And now the Raptors on the break. 
Yes, it's good. Well, the break set in motion by the defensive steal by DeMar DeRozan. You talk about good defense leading to instant offense. That's it. To the middle. Here's Jordan. And that one falls. His in seven tries. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Oh, that's quick. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And the best. For Brooklyn, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to the Cobra. Over to the wing. Shoots from the baseline. And the shot goes. Here's Ellis. He's got 13. Just two to shoot. The three. Pass to Nash. Let's it go from deep. That shot missing. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Here's Garnett. 15 points in the game. Takes a 13-footer. The shot by Matumbo no good. For Brooklyn, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. I'll tell you what. Turnovers just continue to hurt them here in this quarter. Here's Nash. There's the steal. To the paint. And it's good. The defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. And they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. Just That one's no good. Toronto has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Ellis, good. I think this is a, a great area of growth for DeMar DeRozan, his ability to use his teammates to enhance the team scoring. Here's the Cobra. 11 points in the game. Pass to Jordan. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. To find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical. The Raptors shooting only 39% so far in the game. And the impact of international players in the NBA. It's like in 1990, they played less than 5% of available minutes. Now it's more than 20%. Well, the beauty is it's not just about the increase in numbers. It's the players at the top level in the NBA. Look at the MVP race last season. The top three were all international. I love it. It's a good sign for the game. We want the best players regardless of where they're from. And that one falls, so he hits both of them. You know, to me, one of the real pleasurable aspects of watching DeMar DeRozan work, this guy's footwork is something he's developed, and it's on point. Boy, a wide-open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Pass to Anderson. Off the left rim and out. Brooklyn shooting has been great this game, 58%. Here's the Cobra. And a foul. Taking two shots. And so he makes both from the line. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Pass to Anderson. DeRozan with the ball. From the high post. Ooh, he's found seven for ten and counting. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. 
Here's the Cobra. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at five. Pass to Garnett. Here's the Cobra. The three is up. Gets the three to fall. 20 points for him. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. DeRozan outside. Here's Anderson. Bosh. It's good on the back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. Brooklyn has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's the Cobra. Hits the target from 18. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Pass to Matumbo. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Inside. Good setup. Let him. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Nash. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? <laughs> BA, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. They've struggled, but hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. Here's the Cobra. And he's going to the line for two. The official has improved, hitting in the low 80s now. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Raptors have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Here's Anderson. The shot goes down. Very possession right there. Anderson's got seven now in this quarter. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. Jordan. And slim. Outside, Anderson. Here's Bosch. Off target at the rim. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. But boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. The longer this game's on, it's for Toronto. They've gotten six of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Here's Nash. Pass to Bosch. Here's Nash. On the wing to Rosen. Five to shoot. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Here's the Cobra. Here's Garnett. It falls. And now it's 18 shooting. Nice work. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Nash. Puts up a three. The shot off that time. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Here's the Cobra. And the foul is called. He's with a new group. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it can be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing cultures and, and different countries together over the love of the game of basketball. They get it back. Oh, and that's... So he gets them both. Well, Doris, courtside seats in basketball are hard to come by. Experiencing that proximity to the action is a rare treat. But with virtual reality now, anyone can. 
Listen, BA, I'm all for technology, and I think that's cool. But let's be real. You give me a courtside seat where I can feel the action, where I can see all the minute details of everything that's transpiring. Real Bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Ananobi passes to Nance. Outside Ananobi. Releases. Hauled in by McGee. Brooklyn's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. He's guarded by Vassell. Boom! He jams it straight down. Well, posterizing defenders for over two decades now. Garnett still do this. Toronto has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Ananobi. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this, whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York. Living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA where everyone is welcome. And trying to put the... Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight.